And I'm trying again with streaming live to both Facebook and YouTube at the same time. So if there are any technical issues, uh, please chat it so we find out. And so, hello, welcome to the studio. Let's draw. Where do I have to wave to be in the camera shot? Uh, right there. Hi. <laughs> that is my technical support. <laughs> okay, here we go. So um, grab a pencil and some paper. And can you look and see if I'm blocking anything out when Pat I come over? Cheer up. Says hi. Oh, hi. Welcome. So uh, I, do I block everything when I do this? Uh, nope. You can always see your hands. Excellent. OK. So I've moved everything around to get more natural light and um, so, this is nice. Hi, cars. Welcome. And um, well, I'm waiting for everybody to grab a pencil and some paper. Um, for anybody who doesn't know me yet, uh, my name is Jesse Rashi. I'm a professional painter in South Dakota, and I specialize in portraits of children and landscapes that have a bunch of animals in them. And so. It's okay. Well, okay. <laughs> uh, we have animals being silly here. Okay, so um, I thought it'd be fun to block this guy in kind of like we did at the very beginning of these drawing lessons uh, with just the big shapes. And so... I'm going to mark off the top of the guy, the crab here, and the bottom. And um, for those of you watching on YouTube, the link to this image is in the description. And for those of you on Facebook, I'll, um, I will comment it after the, um, after the live stream's done. But, oh. yeah. Uh, Car says, I love today's subject. Right on! I'm so glad. This guy's cute, right? And so I'm just finding the outside edges and ignoring all the details. So, you know, the ground and to the edge of the legs. And as always, you are welcome to draw along just like I do or to do your own thing completely. Either one is great. And... So, getting the outside edges of this guy. And just trying to look at, like, what is the shape of the outside of his legs? And how does that relate to the top of his head? And um, let's see, I'm going to do a little bit of measuring. So, I have my picture on the left, and I'm measuring here the space from the ground to the underside and then the rest of his body and what I measured is that from the ground to the underside is just almost precisely the same height as the underside to the top of his head and then there's some eyeballs sticking out on top and see. I'm going to measure in from the right side of the legs to the to the right edge of the body and it's about a third of the way this um, looks like there's about one third legs, one third body, one third legs. I'm going to adjust that as we go. And can you see my lines well enough? Is this, are my lines dark enough that you can see what I'm drawing? Uh, I don't know if I can see that from, I can't see it from back here, but. Okay. Here, I'll, I'll <laughs> come up in a second. Well, those of you online, uh, feel free to tell me to draw darker if you can't see. <laughs> I'm coming. Okay, uh, where are we going? Oh, from here. So. Yeah, I can see. Great, thank you. And um, 
So I'm drawing a little bit lightly so I can erase some of these extra lines since I'm obviously putting in a lot of extra stuff. And um, I'm just going to start kind of mapping in this front claw. It's so funny that these guys, uh, they're just so cute. And um, I definitely don't think that about all eight-legged things. Yeah, <laughs> an escaped puppy. He's uh, he's, he's full-grown puppy, but uh, <laughs> water around the studio. Okay, so we're just gonna get the big shape here and how that relates to the body. And. Let's see. So this guy, we can really make him as complicated or as simple as we want. And um, anywhere that you want to simplify him more, uh, that is awesome. You go for that. Okay, so there's a separation in the body right around there. There's sort of this undercarriage. And then up here, there's more of the front area and right between is where these claw arms attach so i'm just going to kind of get those in roughly the right place and all of these lines can keep moving if you start putting this in and realize that um, you know, really, this part of the body is bigger or littler than you originally thought. That's the great thing about pencil. You just move it. It doesn't hurt anything at all. And so I keep measuring with my eyes. Um, you know, the top of this claw arm here seems to be about the same height as the top of the head. Um, and obviously, I'm not an expert on crabs and don't know <laughs> what these words are actually called. But I'm just going to put this in. It's almost like a little gesture here. And uh, that's his little claw and his big claw. It's so interesting. And uh, I think that's part of what makes them so cute is this asymmetry here with the big claw and the little claw. But there we go. Getting this one in, get kind of the gesture of it, and a little bit of the negative space there. So please chat, let me know if you're drawing along and um, how your drawing is going. And as always, this video will remain up um, on YouTube and this time on Facebook also. And so um, if I'm going too fast, you can pause and rewind. Um, and if I'm going too slow, <laughs> you can skip ahead. Excellent. And so here we go. I'm going to draw kind of a center line, um, just the same way we would if we were drawing a person. Draw the center line along the face in the middle of the body to kind of see um, you know, how everything will line up and to help with getting some of the perspective. It's just slightly turned, almost straight on, but slightly turned. Um, in this way. Hey, Mo? Yes. Card says, drawing along, no obvious problems yet. Awesome. So glad to hear that, cards. So, just trying to get that uh, a little bit of 
the parts that stick out and make it obvious that he's turning. And uh, it's just like drawing a person where you, you want a little bit of that, um, the gesture, of the, the posture, and I'm just getting a little bit more specific as we go along. And of course the eyes are super fun. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll get those right in there. And there we go. And just like everything else, uh, they can move around. And if you like doing more of a cartoonish style and you want to exaggerate everything, that is super fun and awesome too. So, yeah, this drawing, these drawing lessons, I want them to be uh, like fun and relaxing. And so whatever kind of drawing... Um, really is fun and relaxing for you. That is great. So here we go. I'm um, just kind of visually mapping out here. Put these eyes. Uh, the right one, I'm going to put a teeny bit lower than the left one. Um, And it's time I got my kneaded eraser back. And Can you do yeah. Um, here. um did we get another comment? I don't know. Oh, okay. It just kind of says like here. I have to check something. Okay, um, sure. It may be breaking, like you said last time I was breaking, it may be doing that again. Oh, bummer. Well, so if you're on Facebook or YouTube and you notice that it's not streaming anymore and you're still able to chat, um, please do comment and let us know. I don't think I'd be able to see that though. So I'm just checking. Um, so you have to do that on this computer? It's... Oh, okay. Yeah. That one's already locked in. Um, but turn off the volume first or we get that feedback loop. Yeah, no, no, don't worry. I <laughs> okay. Uh, it's so good to have technical support here for when it goes strange and um, have somebody else that can help with that. So I really love these eyes and the front claws. And to me, that is the main part of this character. Um, but all of the other legs really make him crab. So I'll make sure to get those in there. And so the body... It seems to be working, so it was probably just a tech glitch on my end. Excellent. Thank you. Oh. It flew off. I don't know. He did, I thought. Oh. So... So here we go. I'm going to put in the big mass of the legs and then get them more and more defined. So this is something that took me a long time to figure out with um, drawing. Um, was um, sometimes, sometimes it's fun to follow each piece from the beginning, but um, generally I prefer now to draw the large mass and then um, separate it out more. And so, um, and so this is kind of the inside edge of any leg that's on the inside. And, and then the outside leg of 
the leg that's the furthest out. And then this leg is up a little higher. And I'm, you can see I'm correcting my lines. The more I have over here, the more specific I can see every, you know, how everything relates. And so this part comes in and then it goes out behind the claw and then up. And so I'm erasing the original marks that were just, um, you know, more general, keeping track of how things relate to each other. And, um, and I'm not worrying personally about erasing them all the way. I'm, er I'm just erasing them enough to um, not mislead me when I'm trying to put my next lines down. Because I kind of like having that whole history of um, how the drawing came to be being on the same page. Uh, I, I think that's a nice aesthetic, but, um, but uh, you know, part of your style would be whether you, you know, if you, if you make your lines this way, whether you erase them all or leave them in. And uh, the fact that we all have different styles and different aesthetics there is part of what makes this so interesting, this business of making art. And so I'm just kind of pulling out this front leg. And this part here is a little ambiguous. <laughs> Our puppies are being super silly today. <laughs> You can hear him in the background there. Um, okay, so I'm kind of pulling out the separate pieces now that the main shape is in. And um, it, if anything needs to move, as with every other part of the drawing, it can, it can move at any point. And so I'm still just pulling out the different legs and I'm, I'm drawing them all on top of each other and then I'll erase the lines um, for legs that go behind when the lines are confusing. Um, and then this leg is up in the air. That's kind of a fun gesture. Make sure that you know, this this is the one part of the body that really says this guy is doing something. He's not totally standing still. And, um, okay, and so, so the kneaded erasers are nice because you can pull the dirty part out of the way but also you can form them into a little tip. Um, or you can form them into a specific shape to blot out specific um, things. But I'm just forming it into a tip now to um, erase the legs in back. Um, to kind of show what's in front and what's behind. And I, I do love ambiguity, um, but uh, but I, I like it when it's kind of controlled. And so, so 
it comes in front and I don't want let's see I don't want the edges to line up exactly and this front leg um, in the photo doesn't line up exactly so I'm going to make sure to have that show in the drawing um, because that can really confuse things when um, you know when two different areas overlap in exactly the same way um, yeah I just wanted to say crabs are cute crabs are super cute they really are yeah and as always you are welcome to tag me or um, message me uh, and let me know how your drawing went out uh, it came together and um, So, and a few people have been doing that lately. It's really fun. I love, I love seeing what you're working on and uh, how your drawings come out. And so, so far, this has no shadow. It has no value, like light and dark. It's just about the. Um, the shapes and so when we get a teeny bit further um, we add in some value and um, and um, really have some fun with the shadows here so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and so I'm just doing the inside of the the most inside leg and um, and I love the shadow on this leg back here I'm really looking forward to <laughs> to drawing that part and Okay, so there's that, and then these legs group together here. Like that, and let's see. And your drawing doesn't need to look exactly like this crab. If you decide to change anything or everything about it, uh, that's all great. Um, so, let's see. So there's this really fun, all these negative spaces are so fun and pretty. Um, I really like how this claw and these legs interact with these shapes. Um, and to me, this is what is really relaxing, kind of meditative about drawing is you just, um, the more you draw, the more you see, and um, you, know, you learn so much about these beautiful, interesting things that you really wouldn't have noticed if you weren't trying to capture it. And I love that. And so here a moving part that I had, you know, initially put out a little further and, um, and bringing it in a little bit. That's all part of the process. Just kind of seeing more clearly and
So it's also really cool that these legs are kind of, um, these, well, these three legs are kind of in a distinct row where these ones are more um, random, like there's different, different um, spacing between them and that's pretty cool. Design wise, that's pretty neat. And with this, really, you can put as much or as little detail in as you want. If it ends up being a line drawing with, you know, just some, some lines showing where the legs generally are, that's great. If it ends up being um, very specific, that's great, too. And back here. Uh, and then it's time to kind of erase in and see what's in front of what and what lines are extraneous here. Eraser. It leaves behind a lot more stuff, but okay. And so now I'm just erasing the things, the the lines that um, you know are kind of hidden behind the things in front. And. This claw is such a cool shape. I'm just going to use some gestures here. Um, not measuring or anything. I'm just kind of trying to get the feeling of it down. Okay, so let's step back and take a peek. This looks so much like a hand. <laughs> I love it. Uh, okay. And there's this wonderful translucent quality. Ah, it's just so pretty. And... Okay. So, so far I have the general, um, body parts here and um, everybody draws at different speeds so if if you are um, ahead or behind um, that is totally awesome and um, like I said the the link to the actual image is in the description on YouTube and I'll add it later to Facebook, but you're also welcome to just pause um, at any point and, and look at the drawing and look at the, um, at the photo uh, on this video. Also, yeah. Uh, if you're on Windows, you can press um, the Windows key, press the Shift key, Yes, please take a screenshot. <laughs> yes, <they> good. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna look at the shadows here. Um, I'm gonna just draw an outline of the shadows and. So it's cool that the um, claws are white and the rest of them is a little bit darker. So I'm gonna keep that in mind when I put my shadows in and I'm just doing a little bit of hashing um, to lightly color 
this shadow in and give myself a baseline of um, what what values I'm working with. And over here, I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm just doing a little diagonal hash marks. You can do yours however you want or lay your pencil all the way down if it's um, sharpened uh, with a pencil sharpener or with a um, sandpaper or something. It's flat. Mine, um, I sharpened in such a way that it, it doesn't really lay down well um, for uh, like broad, um, broad areas of value. Um, okay, and get those eyeballs in there. And I'm gonna leave a little bit. <laughs> this guy looks kind of uncomfortable. I think he's got something stuck in his eyeball, but um, I'm just gonna leave a little highlight and kind of put in my hash marks around it. And I could come back with an eraser, but. Um, Uh, I kind of like the idea of starting here. And here too. And these guys will be a lot darker, but I'm going to start here and um, and just get a baseline of my shadow value in and and then think about um, making certain areas darker and I don't really get this gesture of this front claw in um, so I'm thinking of this as more of my uh, permanent line. Um, I'm going really dark, so it, it would be harder to erase. Um, but also I'm paying a lot more attention to the quality of the line. Um, and um, so here we go. And I'm trying to hold my hand off the paper so I don't smudge it too much. And this edge has all of these little bumps on it, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna make my line really irregular. Um, and you know, if it doesn't work out, I do have the eraser. <laughs> and the inside too, it has this like little hook and all these little bumps. I wonder how big this little guy is. He looks so tiny. Uh, I might have to come back and paint him in a couple days. I, I love that translucent quality. Um, okay, and then this part is a little thinner. I'll try to work that a little bit. And then this side actually has a pretty good shadow. So, come back for that. Yep, it's getting a little bit more character here. And I 
And as always, your questions and comments are very welcome. So I'm doing some of my lines darker than others. Um, just kind of accentuating the value that that I see. So there's this nice shadow behind this claw right here. And let's see, back over here also. I haven't really drawn the edge over here yet. I'll do that later when I uh, feel more confident about it. And so let's see. There's this little highlight right here, and then this whole area is in shadow. And then this back leg, I really love the shadow on that. And so I'll put that in. And as for supplies today, since I haven't mentioned it yet, I'm just using a regular old yellow pencil um, and then um, a pink school eraser and a gray kneaded eraser. Um, and a good old number two pencil really is a great tool. And, um, and I do have links to um, the fancy pencils I sometimes use and the kneaded erasers down below in um, YouTube. And if anybody on Facebook is interested in um, where I get my drawing supplies, uh, just chat a little comment and I'll, I'll put it in the comments. Wait, you know? Yeah. Is the link in affiliate links? It is, yes. So uh, I get a couple cents if somebody buys yeah, I think an I eraser. Uh, I, I think you're supposed to spell it. Uh, yeah, it says so in the oh, link. Okay. And then there's this little shadow right across here. And right back there. And then across the leg. And right there. And then there's a little bit of a shadow on the edge of this leg, which is pretty. So if you are planning to draw the little hairs on the legs and the details, let me know. I, um, I'm always very curious about where you guys like to go with your drawings. Um, you know, if it's more gestural or um, or, you know, super realistic. Okay, so I'm going to get these. These 
so square up here. It's really interesting. There we go. And let's see. So one of the things I wanted to capture was that the claws are kind of brighter than the rest of the crab. And so after kind of marking in the shadow, there's a little highlight here, then um, I'm going to go back and look at the value. Um, and I'm doing it specifically as a separate, a separate search. Um, a little bit. So I'm still correcting the drawing and, you know, I'll do that until the drawing is done. Uh, just keep correcting it. And so with these legs, besides this little highlight on the knee, um, I'm not really seeing a lot of different shadow or anything, uh, different shadow um, shapes out here. So I'm just going to leave the knee bright right here, or <laughs> whatever you call that buddy part, and right there, and um, just give these guys a solid value here. This little guy is so sandy. His legs, um, yeah, there's a lot of little details that you can have fun with in here. And let's see. So again, I'm doing kind of my more final marks here, or you know, they're darker and more confident, and I'm a lot more concerned with the quality of the lines, you know, making them interesting and varied. And and I'm not worried about getting into all the specifics, just the specifics that really interest me and the specifics that interest you might be a lot different. This section is a lot darker, and I, ha I think that helps it have more form. So. So, let's see. Mm -hmm. I really like the wild shape of these legs. I'm trying to capture some of that here. Um, You know, with these little broken lines, and um, and if I ever use art terms that you're not familiar with, please feel free to let me know. Um, I try not to, <laughs> but uh, to you know use weird terms that are just sort of art terms. But um, let me know if if you ever want clarification on anything that I say. And over here, I think 
This is one of those situations where adding a lot of detail in here will just make your eyes naturally understand the things that are behind. And then this gesture is, um, you know, I want that to be more important than this right here. So I'm going to really darken that and my edges here. Okay, and so <clears throat> I kind of like where this guy is going so far. Since I've got two legs here that are pretty well defined, I'm going to put a little bit more definition back here. Um, See, I'm not, I'm not worried too much about getting every detail. I just want a little bit more. There we go. A little more information. And I'm going to add a couple lines over here to kind of differentiate a little bit. Just a few things that I think are important of where that comes forward. And I think where everything hits the ground would be an important thing to show. Just a teeny bit back here. See, I really do like that this shows some movement here. Just this one leg up in the air. It's fun. So if you are naming the crab that you are drawing, <laughs> let me know. Uh, it's kind of easy to get attached to these guys as you're drawing along, I think, for me at least. Okay. So this guy's pretty close. Let me get a little bit more, um, let's see, I'm going to ignore the background and just have it be all crab. Put maybe a couple of these little rocks up here, a little bit of a shadow, uh, little teeny particles of sand, it's fun. And 
then this leg, I really did like how dark that shadow was. I'm gonna come back in here and add a little bit more bit of the erratic sandy ground here. And then get a little bit more of the shadow in some of these spots. And then Especially where this claw is, I'm going to darken up the legs just uniformly. So you can still see the shadow through here since the layers are adding to each other. Um, but it's bringing that claw forward a little bit, I think. And I'm gonna do the same thing across the body. If we really wanted to accentuate those claws, we could uh, get the background in there, but I think it's pretty cute the way it is. And okay. Well, thanks for joining me. If you liked the live uh, presentation here, please give it a like. Um, if you want to see more of these, follow me. And um, I'll be here for one more minute in case anybody wants to chat out anything. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, thanks for joining me in the studio. I'm just going to add a little shadow for a second while I wait and see if anybody's got any last minute comments. I thank my helper for reading comments and uh, helping with the tech support. Yeah, I will show you all about those in just a minute. These are really cool. Now it's yellow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, um. So my thing just stopped working. So oh, did it? Okay, I'll just read off from there. Okay, Pat. Sure, sure. Hey, you don't have to read people's last says, names. Fun subject. Excellent. I'm so glad you liked it, Pat. Car says thanks again. Love these draw logs. Excellent. Well, thank you, Cars. I'm so glad you're enjoying them and. Um, and I will be back on Saturday for a painting demo and um, next Thursday at the same time for more drawing. So, excellent. I hope you guys have a wonderful week.